I would like to start by demonstrating one of the first principles of magic, and that is the principle of the naming of names, voodoo magic. For it is said in certain voodoo cultures, if you know the name, someone's real name, then you have absolute power. For this, I need a volunteer. Shelley, that is your real name, isn't it? Would you like to step forth, please? Would everyone like to give Shelley a round of applause? <laughs> I'd like to take a seat. The naming of names. Move the seat just back so that everyone can see what's happening. The principle is very simple. If you know something's real name, you can have absolute power. Shelley, do you think that is possible? Would you like me to prove to you that I have absolute power over the name? In voodoo cultures, people are often given two names. The first name is their secret name that is only known to close friends and family. And the second name is the common name. This is so that the voodoo priest cannot gain control over this particular individual. I would like to demonstrate that tonight by using the cards of the tarot. What I'm going to do, Shelley, is I'm going to give you a selection of cards known as the Major Arcana. These cards here. What I would like you to do is take the cards and look through them. And when you see a card that calls to you that you have a particular interest in, take that card and remove it from the remaining cards. Would you like to do that now, please? When you see that card, keep it hidden from me. For at this particular moment, I do not want to know its real name. You have selected the card. What I would like you to do now is write the name of the card on this paper. If you could give me the remainder of the cards as well, please. Keeping the one card. Thank you. If you'd like to place the card face down on the table. You have now named the card by writing its name on the paper. Would you agree? Is it this card? The Hanged Man. It is not the Hanged Man. Is it this card? The High Priestess. It is not. Would you like to put the paper face down on the table and put your hands face up, one of your hands? Place your hand on top of the card. That was not your card. Hold your hand still and now take the paper. By the power of the name, I command you to reveal yourself. Would you like to tell me the name of your card? The Lovers. 
<laughs> An interesting choice. Would you like to turn the card over in your hand? Would you like to hold it up so everyone can verify that that is in fact your card? <laughs> Proof indeed that by naming the card, you can in fact call it to your power. Would you like to take a seat? Thank you.